and because of his recent arrival and emergence, you might think Gamboa is younger than 29. But remember, he had a long and decorated amateur career. Seven pounds with a professional record of 41 victories against three losses and 34 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Defeated fighter with 20 victories. 16 of those victories coming by way of knockout. The 2004 Olympic gold medalist and former WBA and IBF featherweight champion of the world. He's not that impressed with him because of his defense. He was getting hit easy and knocked down often. But seemingly he's improved his defense and his all-around boxing skills. He's been down four times against lesser opponents. That's because of a tendency to simply drop his hands and walk in. Recently, he's fought with more responsible defense. And after his devastation of Solis, Solis, who fought Manny Pacquiao a few years back, compared him favorably to Pacquiao. Gamboa went through a period where he was becoming so much of a responsible boxer, he wasn't fun to watch anymore. <laughs> Against Salido, who wound up beating Lopez, that win looks good now. Gamboa was less than scintillating. Against Solis, he was putting it all together. Responsible defense, amazing offense and he looked like an emerging super fighter. And now that both fighters are in the ring together, we can see the difference you pointed out, Emmanuel, in how their gloves are wrapped. Tell us again what the potential effect is. Well, it's one of the things that some commissions stop. It's called skinning the gloves, where you take the strings of the glove and you try to move them down below the regular wrist area, and the more that you can get the gloves and then you pull it back, it takes the weight off. But in this case here, I don't think they've did that, but they've used the tape in a lot lower on Gamboa. So, so in, so in effect, what you're lighter. trying to do is you're trying to turn an 8-ounce glove into a 6-ounce yes, glove. Yes, you pull the weight back. pushing the padding down into the wrist. Yes, that's what you do. And that's exactly what I mean. It's a little small thing, but it can make a difference going down the stretch. Well, particularly when the harder gloves are on the hands of the faster-handed fighter. Yes. Could lead the cuts. But but so far, you know, I'm looking at Ponce de Leon. He, he's keeping a good tight defense. He hasn't left himself open at all. And, uh, you know, he still is a big puncher. It's something you can never count out his punching power. Like that. But overall, he's just maybe a little bit slower, but his punching power is very good still. Well, he's more experienced than Gamboa, and he yes. looks very relaxed in there in the first round. He's so much better than he was three or four years ago. He has more dimension to his game now, Ponce de Leon. Well, I mean, it, even though he wound up on the losing end against Broner, the way he fought had to give him confidence. Harold Letterman scored the fight for him. Many felt that he had done at least as well as Broner in the fight. And Broner's a prize prospect with a lot of talent. Well, he's going tit for tat this round and may have won the round up until this point. He, he was just, he just outlanded Gamboa. Yes. Middle of the ring, landed straight left hand. And he's making Gamboa's punches go to the outside of his defense. He's moving, he's smothering the punches by moving inside, which is surprising. And he's relaxed, and he's timing things so well that so far the big speed advantage for Gamboa isn't showing up. No, it's not. Long jab for Ponce de Leon. Pronounced southpaw stance. He will open his shoulders to slug when he gets inside. Two begins. Copy box numbers in round one. A slight statistical edge to Ponce de Leon, who landed nine as opposed to six for Gamboa and threw a few more as well. But Harold Letterman scores the first round for Gamboa, the eight to one favorite in the fight. De Leon reminds me of a, a southpaw pitcher who's finally learned how to pitch, has a feel for it. He talked to us yesterday in our fighter meeting about changing the speed of his punches and even the direction midair. But here it's not helping him against an overwhelming offensive fighter in Gamboa, at least not in that moment. Looks as though Gamboa has decided to assert himself much more offensively in the second round. At least that's been the case in the first 45 seconds. Good right hand by Gamboa. De Leon walked right into it. With Gamboa's hand speed, he should try to force exchanges with Ponce Leon because Ponce de Leon, his punches are wider and looper. And inside of those punches, you can get the board to get away with much shorter punches. So he should try to force it into exchanges. But I, mentioned, I mentioned that, Jim, because about his changing punches in midair and the timing, because you mentioned 
De Leon's timing, and that's really the only yeah. way he has to beat Yes, his if he speed, keeps the fight at this speed. distance, right. But if he crowds him and Campbell Gamboa makes him punch fast, he cannot fight too good. He has to have loop room for his punches, oh, just like uh, that. Uh, 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 pick it up, pick it up, okay? Let's go. Referee Alan Huggins has warned Ponce de Leon for the low blow on that looping punch from the outside. Good left hand by Ponce de Leon, right hand in return by Gamboa. Fighting this way, I'm surprised that Ponce is doing very well. Good body shot yeah. by Ponce de Leon. Gamboa came back to the left. Not that it matters anymore, guys, because Juan Manuel Lopez lost, but Lopez has finally looked better against an opponent than Gamboa. Lopez knocked out De Leon in one round. Otherwise, Gamboa's blown away the opposition more easily than Lopez has. Well, Juan Manuel Lopez's great punch is his very quick right hook, and he caught Ponce de Leon with a counter right hook that he never saw coming. That's what created the knockout. Kind of like those two shots from exactly Gamboa. Exactly right. Didn't see those coming either. That's what Gamboa needs to do is force exchanges, make him fight toe-to-toe. -to -toe. As he said, I love to trade. I love to trade because I know I'll get there faster. Punch it out. Punch your way out. Punch your way out. Punch your way out. Antonio Margarito in Dallas. Think Shannon Briggs in Hamburg. No chance. Go get punished. Power punches in round two. Gamboa was 19 out of 43, and Ponce de Leon was 12 out of 31. Well, the first two rounds by our lights have been fairly close, but our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman, has given both of them to the favorite, Gamboa. Good right hand by Gamboa there. Little by little, Gamboa's dominating speed advantage is beginning to show up. Good hard body shot by Ponce de Leon. Missing wildly going for Gamboa's head. Might do better to keep focusing on the body where he's landed some significant shots. Another solid right hand by Gamboa, countering the pawing shot by Ponce de Leon. De Leon is wide and wild, but Emmanuel, he has a kind yeah. of funky rhythm. Yeah. That yes, I was going to say that. He does have a rhythm that is very unpredictable for Gamboa. And he's doing very well, believe it or not, even though he looks a little slow and awkward. But his defense is pretty good, and Gamboa has not been able to get a good rhythm of his own yet. Good left hook by Gamboa there. Ponce de Leon is living off his timing. <laughs> Choosing the right moments and the right yes. punches. Yes, he's not matching him speed for speed, but he has his timing element down, but he's doing very well with Gamboa. Yeah, and that said, I think Gamboa is winning this round, um, you know, decisively, landing better punches. And when we talk about timing, and if you're a beginning fan, you wonder, okay, what do they mean by timing in boxing? <laughs> Veterans will remember, oh, what a right hand by Gamboa. Veteran fans will remember watching the great Marco Antonio Barrera in the middle stages of his career when he became such a skilled boxer. He had an unbelievable knack for throwing the jab at the moment when the opponent didn't expect it. He was an amazing fighter, especially when you consider he started his career as a slugger and become one of the best technical boxers of recent years. He didn't have speed. He had great timing. timing, great all, timing. all top fighters who are not fast must have the timing. They must have a delivery system. Julio Cesar Chavez was the same way. Great timing. By the way, both Klitschko brothers. And there's another left hand over the top by Ponce de Leon. He misses that one, but the previous one caught the side of uh, Gamboa's head. Bernard Hopkins at this point in his career. Perfect timing. Knows what to do and when to do it. Good left hand by Ponce de Leon. Again, well timed. De Leon landing 30. They both have thrown in the neighborhood of 140. The statistical numbers, pretty even. 
Harold, how do you have it through three? I'll tell you, Jim, I get a three to nothing, 30 to 27, Yuri Orcas Gamboa, and I'll tell you why. The guy's got very heavy hands. You know, Jim, when everything else is equal, Gamboa wins the round. When he throws that lead right hand, he hurts you. I mean, you can feel the damage he does with his shots. He's extremely, extremely hard punch. I mean, he sort of turns that right hand in. And I got to tell you, you know, Ponce de waves at him a lot. He, you know, throws wide shots that really don't do a heck of a lot. On the other hand, see, Gamboa, when he hits you, he hurts you. And when you're judging a fight, you're up close. You got to judge velocity. You got to judge who's doing more damage. That's what Gamboa's doing. Three to nothing, you're your office, Gamboa. I agree with that. There Al. you go. There you go. I mean, we do give De Leon credit for doing better than anticipated early, but I don't know that he's actually won a round. No, I can buy right. it. I can buy it. I agree, too. We'll talk to I think I might have given him round one, but it was close. And I understand Harold's point. Gamboa is a very sharp puncher. Very short, accurate, fast. Great body position at all times. Whereas Plus De Leon gets off balance with his punches before he loops his punches. If he misses a punch completely, he's usually off balance. Gamboa is always in position. Now that Gamboa has become a reasonably responsible defender, you can see a path for him toward the upper stratospheres of the pound-for-pound -pound okay, rankings. Up, there is something about him, though, that stops hardcore boxing people. You know, the, the obvious stuff is there, the speed, the punching power. Right there, you see stuff that other guys just can't do. But he just appears a little more vulnerable than Sergio Martinez and Donaire and Mayweather and Pacquiao. So far. Yeah, he needs a few more performances. This is the way he should fight all right. the way through. Like this, this like he's side, fighting yeah, at yeah, the moment. Yeah. And here comes Ponce de Leon back. You look at Ponce de Leon's eyes and you see a very, very determined man, even though he's not that talented. Very determined. Well, bottom line, they're both all man. They both fight with courage and style. See Gamboa able to move De Leon clockwise, which is how you want a southpaw moving. Oh, pick it up, pick it up. 